Hello everybody, it's me Stamp here on Tarant for Rupert Gaming and today we're going to be showing you the updated Essentials plugin. Now many of you will know about the Essentials plugin, it's very popular. We have indeed done a video on it in the past, but it's outdated and we've decided to come back and remake it. So to begin, Essentials is a plugin which has a whole bunch of commands. Uh, they're essential for your bucket server to run. So Sam, would you like to tell us more about Essentials? Okay, so there are four jars for the core. Uh, essentials which you'll download and they are Essentials Core, Essentials Protect, Essentials Chat and Essentials Spawn. There we go, got the fourth one. And each of them has its own commands and uh, sort of affects the server. Now if you want to use any of the Essentials Spawn or Essentials Protect then you'll want the Essentials Core plugin and this Core plugin just has all the basic commands like the general commands, the, the moderation commands and we're going to go over all the commands in a minute. Uh, the Essentials chat uh, goes over what people see when they say hello and stuff. It supports um, prefixes and stuff. So as you can see there, my name is Red, which wouldn't normally be, and that's because uh, I'm op. But you can change these in the config, and I'm going to go over the config for all the uh, plugins later. And Essentials Protect is very similar to World's Guards Protection, uh, which allows you to like disable fire spread in your world or stops people placing lava and such forth. And essential spawn go has the uh, spawn commands. So we're going to start with essentials the just the core package. So uh, Dan, would you like to start us off? Uh, indeed. Uh, we are going to be going over the uh, all the essentials commands, but well not all of them. We're going to be going over just a few in each section. The first section is called cheat. Uh, as you can tell this will allow you to do uh, most things that a normal server won't let you, so for example, God, give you items. So I'm going to show you uh, the first few. The first one is give, so I can type give xtorrent1. I give myself 64 stone to xtorrent. So I can do give samkyo230. Uh, I can give him 30 grass to samkyo. Oh, thank you. It's very, very, uh, very simplistic feature. It's better than the default vanilla because that requires you entering the person's full name requires you entering the actual uh, code for the block. Instead of this, you can just type give Samkyo grass. Can you give more than uh, 64 blocks? Because in vanilla give Minecraft, you can't give more than 64. You can indeed. I just gave you 48,484 of grass. Yep. Uh, full inventory. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's all right. So that will bring me on to my next command. As the, uh, the Minecraft day is going, and it's going to night, the next command is time day, which will set the world to 6 a.m. As night. you can see here. You can also do time night, I believe. Indeed, I'll do that now. Time night. There you go. And you type go. time day again. The sun is replaced with the moon. And vice versa. And there will be another command called feed. Now, as you know, with the uh, full release of Minecraft, there uh, became the addition of hunger. Uh, whenever you're low on health, obviously or low on health, low on hunger, you will start to uh, be killed. There is one command to uh, remove this. You can type full slash feed, and it says your appetite was sated. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce that, and your hunger bar will uh, refill, so you won't be dying anymore. So that's a that's a funky command to use. Can you feed other players? Uh, let me try that. Feed Sam here. Yes, you can. Satisfied, satisfied Sam Q. There you go. So, if you don't want anyone else using this command, or you just want the, you're the op and you want to you do that to people, you can set that up. Uh, there is another command called heal. So, for example, if you're taking damage, you can type heal. Uh, you can also do this in other players. So if I type heal Sam Q, nice. it, it should send them a message saying you have been healed. Yeah, when I've been healed. Fantastic. And the last command, which is probably the most famous, is full slash god. And there's God mode enabled, which uh, removes all damage. So if I do it to Sam, God mode enabled for Sam here. So I should be able to take full damage. Yep, there we go. And if I to punch me, indeed. Again. Punch me. Yep, I'm invincible. Indeed. So uh, that has been it for the cheat section. Uh, in the description, there will be uh, the actual command reference, where there's a whole many more, which is very well documented. So take a look at that. And I do believe Sam is going to be covering the economy ones now. So. Uh, the Essentials has its own economy system, and this will work with Vault, I believe. So any plugin that uh, uses Vault will work with Essentials economy system. Now I'm going to go over, well, the commands for the 
economy system. So the first one is balance. And this will tell you how much money you've got. So I've got a balance of zero dollars. And of course you can config how much people start with in the config, which we'll go over later. And we can also do balance uh, someone else's name, so xtorrent. And xtorrent also has zero dollars. Okay, uh, we can also do eco, and then we'll do give, and then the player name, so Sankyo, and then the amount we want to give them, so like 200. And it'll say 200 have been added to your account, and then 200 dollars have been uh, added to Sankyo's account. So then we do uh, balance, we can see now we've now got $200. And this is the uh, the admin command for giving and taking uh, players' money. So you can do eco take player name and then the amount, so 20. But, oh, 20 has been taken from my account. So I'm, you've now got minus 20 money because I've taken 20 Ooh, from zero. Indeed, I have. Well, say if I want to play another, pay another player, I can do pay. Uh, X torrent, so the other player's name and then the amount, so I'll pay you 30 so now you've actually got positive money and you've just sent me $10. Indeed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we can also uh, sell an item with an amount specified so if we do sell and then we can either put in the item name or the item ID, but I'm just going to put in hand, which will sell the item I've got in my hand and then the amount, so let's say 20. So we've just sold 20 uh, of the amount I've held in my hand, so 20 grass, and because uh, the, sh the global shop buys them at $1 each, we've sold it for $20. And of course I believe you can modify the prices uh, in the configuration. Uh, we can also do it here as well, so we can do set worth, uh, the item name, so we'll do grass again, and instead of two, we'll make uh, instead of one, we'll make it two. So now, when we try to sell it, we do sell hand one. As you can see, we've sold it for two dollars because they're now worth two dollars each. We can also check the uh, the worth of an item by doing worth and then the item name worth grass. And as you can see, the stack of grass is worth eighty six dollars. So that's uh, how much I'm holding forty three items at two dollars each okay so that goes over the economy commands and now over Dan over to Dan where he'll be doing the general commands see now the general commands are for everyday use within your Minecraft server so things that you will allow other people to use now you might remember I filled Samco's inventory full of, uh, full of grass earlier there is one simple command called clear inventory if I type Samco at the end of it I have cleared Samco's inventory of all the useless grass I put in there. So that's a, a very fa much. very fantastic feature. I think it's very good. Uh, the next command is slash compass. And that will tell you your current uh, place in the world. So for example, bearing northwest 318 degrees. So I'm, I'm bearing south. Okay. So that, that must be south there. Uh, we have another basic command, which is not in uh, vanilla Minecraft. We're, yeah, so it's message. And then, so I put Samco, and I'm going to send the message. I put hello, and he should have a message. Okay, so I received your message saying hello. And Would you like to try and send one back? I can do slash r, I believe, and that will reply to the last person that messaged me. So if I do slash okay. r, hello, it will send you ah, a yes, message. Ah, yes, I have got hello. So rather than me typing message to XTOR, and I can just do slash r, and it will reply to the last person that messaged me. Indeed. Right, so, uh, the next one, which I find very useful, is say you're on an economy server and you want to sell this cobweb I have in my hand, but I auction, you need to enter the actual uh, data value for it, and you don't know what a data value for a cobweb is. If you type slash item db, it will uh, take the item in your hand and display the data value on uh, in the chat. So, for example, I'm holding a web, which is 30. If Samco holds the web and types for slash item db, it will just show the item value of 30. Can you search? Oh, I'm not, I've got it in my hand. Can you search for specific items? You can indeed. You type for slash item db and then you search. If I type grass, it will tell you grass is two. Oh, I see. That's quite good. So the last feature I'm going to cover in the general section is probably the best within essentials. It's called power tool. Now what it's going to allow you to do is allow you to set chat messages, commands, 
to any item you want, specifically tools, and uh, it will allow you to do certain things. So for example, if I type full slash power tool, and then the command I want, so time, uh, time knight, it says time knight command assigned to wooden sword, so if I left click, it says I have set the time to 8 o'clock. Now Sam has set the time to day, because he has used the power tool. Um, my power tool is to day, so if you left click, Night. Day. Night. Day. Night. Day. Fantastic. So, so I think that that's a brilliant feature. So if you're building a massive structure and you're using a weld edit and you want to set that to that command, you know, for example, uh, set zero, I don't know, it's very useful so you don't have to keep faffing about with it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like um, one of the commands I think is lightning and could uh, use like a hammer, I don't know, like a sword or something, but sound the power to to lightning so that whenever you left click with a like that. There you, are, you don't. There you go. Actually, I'm god moded. <laughs> well, you can see um, you can have a lot of fun with this. Come on. There is a, the command to reset your commands on the tool is just four slash pt, and it will say all commands removed from wooden sword. So after that demonstration, it is time for Sam to do the moderator commands. Okay, so starting the moderator commands. These obviously you'll give to any moderators on your server to prevent people from running around and generally being a nuisance. So the first one will be, of course, ban, and then the player name, so xtorrent, and then the reason, so being a noob. Now I can't ban torrent because he's an op. If I de-op myself, if I'll just show you it. So there we go. Ah, banned being a noob for being a noob. So From my you, own server. You can't even join. I can. So I'll obviously have to unban you. So to unban, you do unban, I believe. I hope it's this. And then uh, the player name's external. And there you go, you should be able to log in again. There we go, fantastic. So one of, uh, one of the things I always like about this is also the temp ban. What we can also do is temp ban, which is similar to ban. Temp ban the player name. And then the time we want to uh, ban the for. So let's put 20 in. So Ooh, now you've been for 20 seconds. Temporarily banned for 20 seconds. And this is good for like, if you don't want, if they've done like a semi thing, or you just want them to go away for like a minute or so, you can just ban them for 20 seconds. So I'll uh, just get on another one while that time goes down. Uh, we can also do, uh, let's do uh, spawn mob. So we do spawn mob. The mob, so let's do pig, the amount to, and where we're looking, we will spawn two pigs. It looks like one to me. Okay, well, that's how you spawn a mob using the moderator's commands. Uh, we can also do invent C, so E M N C, and then the player name, so xtorrent, and this will allow us to see what xtorrent's got in their inventory. So they've got 64 stone, one wooden sword, and a sign. And to revert that, we just simply do invent C again. And that will allow us just to make sure people haven't got hacked items and stuff like that. Another good one is slash mute. So mute, uh, player name, next torrent, and then time. I can't mute torrent, obviously, because it's. There you go, I'm the up myself. So I'm going to mute you for five seconds, four seconds. And you can't talk, and I believe you can't even do slash me. So there we go. The four seconds are up, and you can talk again. Indeed. Another cool one is social spy. Now, if I type this in, this is quite a good one because when people send messages, you can't normally see them. But if the moderator has social spy on, whenever someone sends a message to someone, uh, the moderators who have social spy enabled can see these messages between players. So that's quite a cool command. So there you go, Xtorrent. Message yourself, you're a noob. Well done. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it off by doing this, the same command. And of course there's simple kick ones. So kick, and then the player name. We can also do kickle. Which My personal favourite command. Uh, well there you go. We'll kick everyone of the player except from you. 
which is a great command. I do believe that doesn't uh, kick operators either. And that goes over the gist of the moderator commands. There's a few more, but I'll let you find out for yourself. I've done over the, the main ones. So over to Dan, he'll be doing the teleport and spawn commands. So there are only a, a few for the teleport ones. Uh, the main functions, uh, for example, will be slash TP, uh, I'll do Samco. And there you go, I've been teleported to Samco. I swear if Sam does the same, there you go. So you don't have to type in the full name, you can just do literally yep. just XBA. This is a vast improvement over the vanilla Minecraft teleportation where you have to type uh, your name first and then the uh, recipient's name. It has to be all fully correct, uh, so yes, that's a vast improvement. You can also set up uh, TPA, which is a uh, acceptance teleporting system. So I do TPA Sam here. So there's request sent to Sam here. So I get a little message saying Xtron has requested to teleport you. And I can accept whether or not uh, I'm going to allow them. So I'm going to allow you to teleport by doing TPA accept. There you go. Sam has accepted your request. Torrent will teleport to me. So that's a good feature. If you don't want people just randomly teleporting people and then possibly killing them, they have to have some sort of permission to do so. Indeed. Uh, regarding to another teleport command is, a lot of people get annoyed when people start teleporting to them on servers. So there is a command called TP Toggle, which will turn off your teleportation status. So now I've got my teleportation disabled, no one will be able to teleport to me apart from people who use TPO, and then the player's name which stands for Teleport Override. If I do TPO Sam Pio, I have just overridden his uh, protection from TP Toggle, and I can teleport to him. This is useful for admins checking out griefers, moderators checking out griefers, etc. Very nice, very nice. Uh, there is a command called set home, which a lot of people are familiar with. So I've just set home to this square block. If I go all the way over here, and I type forward slash home, I will teleport back in front of Sampio over here. And so as he has done there. Uh, similarly to uh, home, you can type slash set warp. Uh, with the name after it, so set warp, let's do X torrent, and if I fly all the way over here, this is good for mining cases, if you want to have multiple uh, branching mines, which you want to remember, you can type warp and then the name, so for example, mine is X torrent, I warp all the way back over to X torrent, which is a very, very handy little feature. So uh, that is all I'm going to cover for the teleportation commands, as we said, the link to all the commands will be found in the description, and the best way to figure out how to use them is by uh, doing them yourself. So, the last commands are the spawn commands. Now, there are only two of them, so we should be able to go through them quite quickly. The first one is set spawn, which will set the spawn for a group default. Now, um, with essentials, there is a thing called group manager, where you could, it's kind of like permissions, where you set different groups, uh, different users, etc. Um, when setting spawn, you can set up for different types of members. So if I do set spawn admin, this uh, location here has been set location group for the administrator. Now, this can be made for any sort of user group. So, for example, you have a role playing server and you want some miners to spawn in a certain area and you want some farmers to spawn in another area, you can create a group of farmers uh, within the configuration file and use set spawn for farmers. So, if I type for slash spawn, we will head over here. So, uh, when you also die, uh, once you set the spawn, you also set back over there depending on what group you're in. So, for example, if I do full slash kill x torrent, I will die, and I will get teleported over to this lovely diamond little booth that Sam has made for the spawn points. Indeed, and just, just do that without dying, just type in slash spawn, and then you Indeed. get teleported there uh, without having to die. Splendid. So that's been Essentials. Uh, like I said, and Torrance said, a uh, full list of commands will be provided in the description, or well, as a link anyway. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been me, Torrin, and Sam Kyo from Whip Gaming, signing out. See ya. Hello everybody, now I'm going to go over the configurations for Essentials. So once you've downloaded it, you can download it here, Essentials Core Download. If you're running um, 1.2, then you'll want to have a dev build. And there's a link here that says dev builds. And then you can choose rather a stable build or a dev build. So if you're using Minecraft 1.2, you'll want this one here. Uh, you'll get a package, and inside that package, you should get four jars directories uh, Essentials Jar, Essentials Chat, Essentials Protect, and Essentials Spawn. These are the ones we went over earlier.
Now I'm just going to go over the configuration. So when you run this, you'll get a folder called Essentials and one called Plugin Metrics. Just quickly go over the Plugin Metrics. This just uh, tells the developers of um, uh, Essentials that you're using it and the stats of how much it's being used. Uh, so it will send information to uh, Grief Pro, so you can see information there. But uh, you can opt out by uh, changing that there to true, should you not want stats being relayed like that. But now let's go over the essentials. So open up the essentials directory, you should see a similar uh, layout. Now config.yml is what we're mainly after, so let's open that. So what you'll notice is that whenever you install an essentials uh, package, the config will expand or and whatnot, and uh, we'll have a section. So here we have the essentials global section. If we scroll down, there's essentials economic section, essentials chat, which we installed, essentials protect, and the essentials form. So let's just go over the general first. Okay, so I'm going to go over a few of the settings, and uh, well, there's lots of settings. And like I said, it's uh, very documented a lot. So if you have any problems, just look above the uh, setting and you can easily change it and not look at what, what it's about. So the Ops name colour, now you remember in game whenever I spoke I had a red name because I was up. Uh, the red is because of the colour code C. You can change this to any colour code between 0 and 9 or 8F or you can set it to none as said there to have no colour. Uh, nicknames, this is the character in front of the nicknames when people talk with a nickname. We didn't actually go over nicknames in the video but um, should you want them, this will be a character in front of them so people can see that is a nickname. Uh, slightly disadvantage of that, people can see that it's a nickname and say you wanted it to be like Notch or something to pretend you're a Notch and set your nickname to the Notch, it'll go the squiggle bit Notch. So if you don't want that, just remove that uh, and whatnot. So now that's the teleport cooldown. So this is the delay uh, required when you use the home or teleport or any teleporting thing. And it's in seconds, and also you've got the teleport delay there again. Uh, teleport invulnerability. Uh, this will prevent the other player from being attacked by other players for a uh, period of time uh, once they've been teleported. So it stops people being teleported and then instantly killed as their thing, or they could be teleported into a dodgy place and they'll get damage there so that prevents that. Uh, so this is the, uh, the heal cooldown so if you're using the heal uh, command this is the delay required to use it so you can't keep spamming it all the time. Uh, item spawn blacklist so these are the item IDs that you don't want people to spawn with I or give and what you do is you simply just put in the ID so if I don't want people to put stone put the ID 1 I don't want people to uh, do cobble, spawn cobble, I put two, grass and so on. So you can put them there. Okay, uh, spawn mob limit, so this is the spawn mob command, uh, this is the limit on how many mobs you can spawn, and when it's 10 you can increase that or decrease that as well. Uh, what else have we got? So disable commands, this is quite useful. Uh, if you want to disable a command like overall, so that no one can use it, so it's completely unavailable on the server. What we need to do, well, first of all, we need to remove this hashtag so it actually comes into effect. And what we need to do is just put hyphen space, or space and hyphen space, and then the command. So if I want to stop the AFK command, I just put AFK, or the God command, I can just do that. I can do that as many commands as I uh, want. Now, this isn't if you're not using any permission system, these are the player commands that people will have. Um, you can add or remove them, so if people, you don't want people to send mail, you can just remove them, or you can add ones. But if you have a permission system, then uh, it will have no effect. Uh, the kits, so we didn't actually go over kits, but you type in like a kit and then the name of the kit, and this will give you a certain amount of items. Here you can create kits and uh, put in the delay of how long uh, someone can use the command and also what items they get here and you can define the efficiency so if you want to add this no kit what I recommend is just copy and paste in the previous one and just changing the name and the items to see what you want okay and what else we got 
so let's uh, let's go. Oh, the auto AFK thing is quite good. So this is if the player hasn't uh, spoken or moved for a while, then it will automatically AFK them. And this is the timeout. So if that's uh, 300 seconds, the timeout. That's the how long the user will be inactive before they go AFK, and it will say, "Oh, that's this person's AFK." Just to let you know. And uh, if you want them to kick them if they're AFK, you can add that here and set that time in seconds. Again, if you want to do disable it, then you just put minus one for no timeout. And you can do that in any timing thing, like also AFK. You can put minus one for not allowing that to happen. Uh, deaf messages. So this is the the, the, the vanilla deaf messages of Minecraft. Uh, whenever someone dies, you see a message. You can disable that there. It's false. And uh, yeah, so that's the general one. Anything else you can easily see. And let's go into essentials home. So these are the home commands. So we'll spawn if no home set, uh, no home. So so if uh, they use home and they haven't got a home, then it's uh, teleport them to spawn. Uh, so you can also set their bed at daytime. Uh, so when right people right click their beds, it will set their bed as their uh, home bed, as it were. Uh, and again, you can also uh, do multiple homes. So this will allow you to set how many pe homes people can have. And uh, you can define the permissions and stuff there. Uh, Central's economy. Uh, again, we went over the economy commands in game, but here you can set the balance that people start with. Default zero, you can set this to like 500 or something. Um, and of course, you've got the symbol here, so this is the currency symbol in dollars. You've got British, you might want to take the pounds, or you can take the credits, or anything you like. Uh, the max amount of money that someone can have, so that's 10 trillion, I believe. Because uh, this is the size of the double, it could only be that big. Uh, and <coughs> the minimum amount of money is 10,000, or oh, negative 10,000. So, this is uh, if you want to um, get loans and stuff, this is the amount that mo money can be negative. And that, uh, essentials help, I'm not going to go over that, free self explanatory. So, just whether or not you can use the help and stuff. Now, essentials chat, uh, these are the, the chat commands, so you need the essentials chat jar. So, the radius, this is the the radius that people can hear you if I say something people in the radius can uh, can hear me but people outside the radius can't hear me if it's zero then everyone can hear me it's like a global chat and here you can also define the format of the chat so this is where you can like uh, add whether or not you want the group name to be in front of the display or you can add like a world name and then the message or you can even change it around and have the message before the name if you really desired but here this is where you change the format and more information about the chatbot formatting, you can follow this link here and it'll tell you some more information. So that's how that works. Essentials Protect. So these are the Essentials Protect jar. And of course, you've got all the sort of things. So you can alert when people place uh, stuff with buckets. So a lava bucket is 10. Um, so players or people will be alerted when uh, being placed or using stuff or breaking stuff so you can put all the IDs there so if, so, if I use uh, for instance uh, lava bucket then it will notify or if I place like a lava block or steel lava or TNT it will also notify but for instance if I break uh, I don't know what the ID for glass is but you can add that there as well uh, a blacklist, so these are the blocks that won't be allowed at all. So, people blocks that you shouldn't be able to place at 10, 11. So, these stuff like lava uh, and TNT and stuff. So, these are the items that are prevented from using. And again, this is quite self explanatory. So, again, you can add IDs here of what blocks you don't want people to break, which blocks that shouldn't be pushed by pistons, and so forth. These are gen general physics of the world, so for instance, if you don't want lava to flow, you can set this to true. And again, all these work, so if you don't want the TNT explosion, you can set that to true. 
or TNT player there, as you can set that to do there. So these are like the physics, these are the things that if you don't want creepers to explode, you can uh, prevent it here. And again, you can also define which mobs spawn as well. So if you don't want uh, gas to spawn, for instance, you can set that to true, then uh, I believe that this will prevent the spawning of that creature. So if you want, don't want danger dragons, you can set that to true, and so forth. Okay. So this is also a quite a cool feature. You can actually define the minimum height or that a creeper should explode at. So if it's set to minus one, they can explode at any height, but you can set a height level where the creepers uh, will explode at. So you can change that to maximum height, I apologize, not minimum. So that's the maximum height. Uh, so there's all the protection stuff, I'm gonna go over that. Uh, lastly, Essentials Spawn. So this is where players will be sent to uh, when they are first joining. So the Spawn Point Newbies. And uh, you can also give them a kit on first time. So they get given the kit tools when they first join. Uh, and also, where not respawn at home. So if someone dies and they were at home point, then they'll teleport them there. So that's the uh, end of the configuration. So you can save that, and that's that. Just going to go over quickly, these, these things don't make, take much time. Warps, this will just be the location of all the warps on your server. Uh, currently don't have any, so that's empty. Essentials Protect Database, this is just, you don't have to edit that, just leave that as it is, and this is just used with the Essentials Protection Jar. Items.csv opens up in Excel and it just has a list of all the items and all the IDs next to it. So this is useful when using the item DB command. People might put for instance S stone or smooth stone or, or rock and this is just all the different sort of names you can have for it and then the ID there as well. So there you got the, like the planks saplings but there you go you got all the data values and all the IDs and stuff so I won't save that upgrades done don't have to worry about this this is just the update stuff don't worry about that uh, worth.yml now remember we bought stuff and sold stuff to the shop using the economy this is where you can set the prices for all the items so we have a list of all the items and how much they're worth I can change them here, so fishing rod I can change that to 20 if I wanted to, and so on and so forth. So that's how you change that, I believe, as well. Um, yeah, that's it, pretty much. And that's, that's that concludes today's tutorial. There are all the configurations. Again, more information can be found on the website. It's just a brief overview of how to use the configuration. So it's nice and easy to install to drag and drop run it and you should see uh, essentials, loading essentials loading all the other ones if you've got them and then essentials is enabled and uh, yeah, I'm using the dev version because I'm running on 1.24 and it seems to work fine so there you go so thanks for watching this has been me Sam Q doing the configuration for essentials hope you enjoyed it uh, see you next time